5,275.8. All right, ready, guys? Let's do it. What's going on, guys? My name is Kyle Bradshaw, and today we're talking about the Heidenau K60 Ranger. The KTM now has 5,275.8 miles on it. So just over 5,000 miles we've gotten out of the Ranger tire. Now that's significantly more mileage than I thought we were gonna get. The compound of this tire is relatively soft. This center lug right here, just wanna make sure they didn't give us a dual compound. The center lug's giving us 70 on the durometer reading. It's missing that traditional Heidenau K60 center ridge. And uh, I can tell you that for the price point of this tire, I wanna say it was $260 delivered to my front door amazing. But that price point is huge for a tire that I got 5,000 miles out of. I can tell you that I've had this tire up to the top speed of this motorcycle just over 140 miles an hour and completely stable on the highway. Zero effect with rain grooves. It performs on the street like you would expect a street tire to perform. I've ridden it in wet weather, handled perfectly there. Now the caveat is these lugs are really large and the front tire here, let's take a look at the K60 Scout tire. You can see that the uh, front tire here, the voids are extremely big. And that's the only downside that I had to this tire when running it on the street, is the fact that this void is so large that the distance between the two when rolling around on this 21 inch front tire, you get a dot, 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 dot every time that this tire rolls across the surface. So in the beginning, that wasn't bad, but when I got to about 1,500, 2,000 miles, I started to get this little shimmy in the handlebar that was not apparent when the tires were brand new. And that's the other thing. The front tire, it's wearing really well, but it's wearing oddly here on the inside. So on this inside layer right here, next to the center lug, you can see this part right here is really worn down as compared to the others. We're getting some extreme wear there. Now what that's doing is in corners, the bike wants to kind of do this bit now that it didn't do when the tire was new. Again, this is a 5,000 mile tire, so it's bound to have some wear on it. It looks to me like I can get two rears to every front of this tire if I was willing to deal with that undulation that I'm now feeling when going in corners. So those are pretty much the notes that I have on the street characteristics. It handles great just about everywhere. Front tire is a little bit strange and then it wears funny and, and, and allows the whole bike to undulate in turns. But as for overall stability, I give it an eight and there's not many other adventure tires out there that I would rate that highly on the street. I think I know did a really good job when it comes to making this tire as street worthy as they could. When the tire first arrived at my house, I took a look at the actual construction of the tire and it looks pretty good. I can barely pull this thing to the side and when I squeeze down like this, there is absolutely zero movement in the sidewall here. It's gonna be an interesting tire. Um, it might ride like a brick, but uh, from what I'm looking at here, you should get quite a bit of mileage out of this tire. Again, that's pure speculation. So if you haven't already seen it, go take a look at the first look video of this tire. Now at the AIM Expo earlier this year, when I first saw this tire, I was talking to the tire pros there at the Heidenau booth and I didn't really get the answers that I was looking for. I was looking for mileage, I was looking for testing and feedback and they really didn't have any. The tire was so brand new, they hadn't even put it through its full paces. Now let's talk about dirt characteristics for a little bit. My first foray in the dirt on these tires was completely loaded on this motorcycle. Both saddlebags completely loaded. I had a 40 liter duffel, I had a backpack. I mean, this thing was completely laden. I was taking this bike here from Southern California up to South Dakota. Now that off-road experience was at the Seven Magic Mountains on the 15 on my way to Vegas. I pull off the highway and I start doing some off-roading and this thing felt sketchy, super loose. It felt like I was riding on marbles. Now I didn't want to fault the tires for several reasons. Number one, the bike was 100% loaded, way overloaded. Number two, I was running 100% full street air pressure in these tires. And number three, that's uh, the first time I had had them in the dirt and I wasn't sure if that was just the characteristic of the tire or if those other things that I mentioned was contributing to that uneasiness that I had as I first went off road. Anyway, continue down the road. Over a thousand miles, I have an opportunity to get some awesome off-road tracks in Montana. Cruising down these tracks, this bike handled perfectly, the tires did well, and I was still at the same point 
that I was when I was in Nevada. So I think it had to do a lot with the soil that I was on in Nevada. Um, there were a lot of, of larger, loose rocks, larger than gravel, but smaller than a baby head. Um, and I just think that uh, the large blocks on this tire didn't allow it to actually get the grip and grab like I would want it to. Anyway, on those great farm and ranch type two tracks, this tire did really, really well. Fast forward, I'm in South Dakota at the Get On ADV Fest, put on by Revzilla, working for Nelson Rig inside the booth, and I had an opportunity each day to go out, hit the trails, and uh, explore the terrain that was up there. We had some mud, we had some loose dirt, we had a lot of rock climbing. <laughs> and the tire did really well. Now the thing that I'm going to say was the downfall of this tire was any time that it's loose or rocky, this front tire does not want to work at all. Alright guys, this type of loose, rocky, well, there's loose dirt on the top mixed with larger gravel. The front tire of this K60 Ranger does not excel in this type of situation. Um, I think the blocks are too large, um, so they kind of sit on top of the rocks. They don't actually sink down into the media. And I found that the tires wear pretty cool. Ooh, see, almost tucked the front end right there because it, <laughs> it doesn't like this media very much. Now this is more of a powdery type soil. Oh, front end wants to go, go, go. The most recent trip was the XL ADV High Sierra event. I was riding with Eric Hall up there, and man, there were some times following Eric down the mountain that this tire just wanted just to wash completely away. That's cool. Whoa, almost lost the front end. Whoa, that cabin is sweet. It just wants to skip out and it wants to wash away. Now, moving over to hard pack. Hard pack, these tires perform like they do on the highway. Super, super great grip. They are super stable and they just work really well. Now for mud, I give it a thumbs up. It did really well, but I only rode it in flat mud. I was never in mud on a hillside, so I don't know how well the front tire would do coming down a steep, wet Ooh. slope. That seems to be a very hard spot for most adventure tires to actually perform. And the reason for that is the tire's not moving fast enough to fling the mud off and the mud cakes up on there and then you basically have a ski as you're going down. So I would like to note one thing. The last 2,000 miles that I've run this tire on the street, corners have been a little bit sketchy. Uh, what's happening is it's pretty flat here, so I have lots of stability while riding down the road. But as soon as this bike leans over, I have literally this much tread that's actually hitting the ground when I'm in corners. So the traction control has been pretty crazy. So in summary, the Heidenau K60 Ranger. I think it's a phenomenal tire on the highway. I think if you're just traversing some traditional, normal two-track, fire road, dirt road type scenarios, I think you're gonna be happy with this tire. You need to note that that front tire does not wanna get really good traction in softer types of terrain. So if that's the type of terrain that you like to ride, I would say you can do the rear tire, but I'd stay away from the front tire. Anyway, I'm Kyle Bradshaw, also known as Kyle the Tire Guy. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. There are links down in the description, and if you would like to use those, it would really help out me and the family. I got a bunch of links to Amazon, so click a link there, go buy it at Amazon, I get a little bit of a kickback. And then if you guys want 20% off anything at Nelson Rig, my current employer, I highly recommend you use coupon code MANYBIKES20. That'll save you a quick 20%, again, get your free shipping on anything over 50 bucks. And if you've gotten this far in the video and you haven't yet subscribed, we are so close to 15,000 subscribers. It is awesome. You guys have been a huge support over the last couple of years. And uh, if you haven't subscribed and you enjoy the content, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you can be notified whenever more tire videos are released. I'm Kyle. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care and ride safe out there.